Welcome back as Valve is celebrating Half-Life 2's 20th anniversary. They are giving away the game for absolutely free until 18th November. The game has just received a major update that includes tons of fixes and graphical improvements. This is the update log. Half-Life 2 now includes episode 1 and 2 DLC expansions along with the base game. 3 hours of commentary has been added for the base game. Integrated Steam Workshop support. We can browse, install and play user created content for Half-Life 2 without leaving the game, bug fixes and new graphics options, visual pops, missing sprites and mismatching lighting introduced in updates over the years have been scrubbed away and they have added some settings to push the visual fidelity of Half-Life 2 farther than was allowed in the original release. I actually played the original release almost two decades ago on my PC, was blown away by the visuals especially the physics. Back in the day, there weren't many games with advanced physics especially on the level of Half-Life 2. If I am not wrong, around that time GTA San Andreas was released. Half-Life 2's visuals were way better than that of San Andreas. But San Andreas was originally made for weaker consoles. Half-Life 2 was targeting PCs. It's a first person shooter that combines shooting, puzzles and storytelling. Adding features such as vehicles and physics based gameplay. We play as Gordon Freeman who joins the resistance to liberate Earth from the Combine. It's an interplanetary alien empire. I'll be testing the game on my ROG LR. Windows 11, I have the set to an extreme variant of this device. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4GB. My ally is running on PaaS version 441. Install AMD's latest preview GPU driver. Optimized for Dragon is the wheel guard. Using a 25W manual profile all 3 power value set at 25W. Full HD resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode. And runner in settings for the game. Free sync and vsync enabled. Anti lag setting enabled as well. Using internal lens overlay to show you the performance metrics. Games menu. From here, we can access the two episodes. Additional level can be accessed from extras. Half Life 2, Lost Coast. First, I'll be running the base game. In game settings, difficulty normal. Text is a bit small. Game supports X input controllers. Video settings, full HD resolution, display mode, full screen. Settings maxed out, advanced, high to very high. Motion blur. Disable Classical effects disabled as well Entirely up to multi-core rendering enabled Game uses DirectX 9 API We are in Playing the game from first person perspective here FPS is around 120 GPU utilization 60% Okay this guy wants me to throw this can into the dustbin I'll just throw the can at him <laughs> hang at him oh my god cafeteria look at that lighting who oh, is coming after me <laughs> what happened <laughs> oh my god he's swinging the baton trying to escape still after me is that me Satisfied. Okay, in the open area, GPU load increased to around 96% FPS dropped down to around 85. Still, the game is running smoothly. FPS is within Alice VR range, that is 48 to 120. Can't sprint. I'm just admiring the graphics environment. What the hell is that thing? Can't go through there. Use the ladder. Expose controller prompt. Oh no. Area block. Next area is getting loaded, took about 2 to 3 seconds. This issue is still present.
very smooth experience no hitching at all no way out go to here it's going on two time flashlight I is calling me go to the roof VRAM usage is around 1.8 GB only APU power drop 30 watts oh no these guys are after me area getting light up this was a common thing in old games used to happen a lot in GTA Vice City use the ledge need to be careful very easy to fall down balance myself shooting at me oh my god enter through the window made it and I'll be testing episode 1 got caught Back to the menu, episode 1, same settings, just load the game. We are in, need to get a roller mine. This is a puzzle. Go to here, crouch. I have my gun, flashlight. Drop down carefully. Oh my god. Lift got activated. Press the button. There's the roller mine. Waiting for the lift. Made. Oh, you found one. Dad told me about recent the same performance. Did you see the right spot? And it's on our side. Hold it out where I can. Bend it lighting effect. There it is. Should work now. Throw it in. But it should last long enough to take out the stalk. Take out these creatures, stalkers. Heal is down. Excellent performance again. Now I'll be testing the next episode. That is that thing. Looking at me menacingly. Episode 2. Using the same settings as before. This is the opening sequence. Stuck in this train. Met with an accident. Looking for a way out. Water level is rising. Can't jump out through the window. Oh, Gordon, thank God you're okay. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. No weapon. Look at that reflection quality. Wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. Gravity gun. Better it than I am. When I couldn't find you, I got... I know. 120 FPS here. Well, we should keep moving. Network. Oh my god, look at the background. What's going on here? Some kind of an apocalypse. Oh my god. The Citadel. What the hell is happening?
nuclear explosion. 87 FPS hitting the GPU bottleneck. Great chest collapse. Oh my god. Creatures are roaming around here. Oh my god. Look at the dead bodies. Alien creatures. What was that? Look at that thing. Throw these slenders at them. Good performance again. I'll be testing the Lost Coast episode. Extras Lost Coast. We are in. Check out the beautiful water quality. Reflection. 120 FPS head. 70% GPU load. We'll engage in combat. 70% GPU load again. Shotgun is a bit slow. I'm getting shot at. Need to jump. This is not good. Found them on the other side. Want to get to that side, but the stairs got destroyed. I can't jump that far. <laughs> oh no, I died. So no issues with the performance. Make sure you grab the game for free before the preview of our expires. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.